Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Chicken Pants Studio. I'm Claire, an artist in the Pacific Northwest. Every weekday morning, I like to do these little loose art journal pages, just painting whatever comes to mind. No stress, no trying to get it to look a certain way. Just me and some music and my pug Frida. And sometimes my French den Josie joins us too. If you hear snoring or snorting, that's because I have Frida on my lap as I record this voiceover. Super professional setup over here. But that's how I paint most of the time too, so you're really getting the full effect. This is a real-time painting session, so maybe you could create along with me, working on whatever you like. I hope you do. Sometimes having someone to virtually hang out with while you paint or whatever is nice. For today's painting, I wanted to do something different, or at least different for me. Birds! Lots and lots of birds. I don't paint birds often enough. I'm always inspired by the bird paintings Sandy Hester makes, or really all of her paintings. If you're not familiar with her, she's a fabulous artist who is here on YouTube. She creates these fantastic, loose paintings and they're just joyful and free and full of life. I'll link her in the description so you can check her out after this video, of course. But her birds have particularly captivated me. I'm not trying to make a copy of her birds here by any stretch. And it's not nearly that good anyway. I just thought, hey, what if I painted some birds in my style, in my colors? Might be fun. So I did. These birds are all just from imagination. I didn't use any reference photos. I was just feeling too lazy and sleepy for that. I just went with how I felt birds should be, more or less. I kept my palette limited, as you can see. Just four colors, and later two neutrals for beaks and such. Oh, and white, of course. I didn't want to use realistic colors. That's just not for me. I like bright, bold colors. The less realistic, the better. But again, that's just me. That's what I like. If you like more natural colors, there's definitely nothing wrong with that. You're free to like whatever you like in art. That's what it's there for, for personal expression. But I digress. I'm using acrylic gouache today, as I pretty much always do. And I can't hype up acrylic gouache enough. You can work it thick like acrylic, or thin it down more like watercolor. And since it is acrylic, it stays put on its layer. It doesn't mix with whatever you put on top of it, so you can layer your colors willy-nilly as it suits you. Dark on light, or light on dark, whatever you feel like is fine and will totally work. Today I'm working with Holbein Acrylic Wash. They're my current favorite brand because they dry perfectly flat, and if you use them in your art journal, the pages don't stick together. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They do not know that I exist. <laughs> I just genuinely really like these paints. What medium or mediums, media, medii, whatever the plural of mediums is, what do you like to work with? I'm curious. Leave it in the comments. As you'll see later, I also go in with a watercolor pencil for drawing some loose outlines and for drawing their little legs. I love drawing the little legs. I've been using these Tim Holtz watercolor pencils lately. This is not sponsored at all. That's just what I've been reaching for. They're pretty good, but not earth shattering. Don't feel like you need to run out and buy a set. But they're fun, and I like how there's no wood. It's just a pure stick of color. That's pretty cool. I'll drop a link to them in the description so you can check them out if you want to. Do you have a favorite brand of watercolor or colored pencil? Leave it in the comments. I'm always curious to try something new, or at least new to me. I heard this probably apocryphal story that I think it was Monet. You can tell the authenticity of his later paintings because they all contain some cat hair. This just delights me to no end because I feel like all my paintings in this art journal contain some pug hair too. That's just a side effect of painting with a pug on your lap who is going through an especially intense shedding season. Just in case you're not aware of it, pugs shed like you would not believe. But they go through periods of time where they shed a lot more than usual. And that's what Frida's going through right now. It's bananas. There's pug hair on every surface. That is not an exaggeration. It's just the reality of how it is. If you'd like to see the rest of this week's morning painting pages, I post a roundup of them every week on my blog. There's a link in the description for that too. 
And that's all I've got to say for right now. I'll see you at the end of the video. Let's just listen to some music for now and get down to painting.
so much for watching. If you made it this far, you are an absolute champion who should also subscribe and leave a like before they go, because that's what champions do. I hope you were able to get some creative work done. That's all for now. See you next time. Mm -hmm.